it is 5.50 on Monday, October the 10th. I'm going to do a little walk down through here and check on a stand. Right kind of down behind our house in a soybean field. You can see the beans there. They're drying. Getting, getting ready to harvest here pretty soon, probably in about a month. I'll let them dry real good. But this is a real neat spot. You got soybeans all out through here. Way over there, that green over there, that hillside, that's that's on my place. I got a turnip and radish patch right over there. Cool season mix. It got some other stuff. And then up on that hillside, standing corn. And I got a feeling there's probably deer in there right now. That green area that you see right along through here is a terrace, erosion control terrace. It's been there for many years. It divides the two fields. The deer use that as a travel corridor. I'm going to walk over here where this stands at. Check it out. I haven't been over here all summer. Uh huh. Oh my. Scrape right there, a good one too. Got some tracks in it. Hmm, I like that. The stand is where I shot my buck in 2019. And I shot that buck standing, he was standing right here. There's my stand. And that buck came. I rattled him in. He came from that tree line over there. It's about 300 yards away. And rattled at him twice. On the second sequence, he came on a dead run. And he was there at that big cottonwood before I could lay the horns down. And then he came right on in here and I shot him at about, I don't know, 17 yards. But again, there's my stand right there. It's in this black walnut tree. And from the stand, turn around, the terrace comes around and ends right there. That's a bean field, that's a corn field. I'm going to work my way through this creek. There's another bean field. It has been clover and alfalfa mix for the last 2018, 2019, 2020, the last three years at least, 2017 too. But uh, my neighbor planted beans in there this year. So I'm going to ease down through this creek. This is a pretty treacherous little climb down here when it's wet. It's about 50 degrees today. I probably should be hunting actually, but I don't usually get started until about the 20th. I really don't want to waste my time and effort until it really gets good. I gotta try to get up this bank. Let's see what's over here. I got a feeling there's gonna be some scrapes over here. Field. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just scrape right there. I've been scraping all in here. Just scrape right there. And then if you look. stand right there. See the ladder sections. And it's a game tamer type stand, woodsy two type stand. 
I would bet. There's going to be scrapes all down through here. Not sure of that. Nothing to speak of there. stand right there is if my wife wants to call me in for lunch oh here's a scrape under this cottonwood it is right there licking branch right there if my wife wants to call me in for lunch all she has to do is step out the back door and call me. It's just now starting to get started with some pre rut behavior up here. But it seems like it's heating up a little, little, little every day. So I'm going to get out here probably about the 20th and start doing some evening sets up until about Halloween. And depending on what my game camera shows for daytime activity, I'll start hunting some mornings then around the 1st of November. But anyway, just want to show you guys a little walk. What I was seeing up here. See you guys later.